Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Wilson at Providence St. John's Health Center in Santa Monica, California, and we are here to invite you to join us at our upcoming webinar of September 28th entitled, What Everyone Should Know About Prostate Cancer. Today I'm joined with my colleagues who will also join me during the webinar to discuss a variety of different things. To my left, Dr. Mehran Lovasagi, an expert with Men's Health. Mehran, what are you going to talk about? So I'm going to tackle what happens before the diagnosis. You know, what screening, who should get screened, what are the tests available, what are the new tests out there, any imaging tests that are available now like prostate MRI and some of the genetic testing. Um, and then also, you know, are there any symptoms of prostate cancer? Generally, no, but there are certain you know, signs and symptoms early on that you know, guys should be aware of and really try to inform as patients as much as possible about you know, what to do before the diagnosis. Um, you know, this is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, as you mentioned. Right. Prostate cancer is a 100% curable disease as long as it gets diagnosed early on. And uh, my goal is try to make sure that people are not scared of the diagnosis mm -hmm. and you know, understand that we've come such a long way, even in the last five years, um, about being much more precise and um, providing you know, personalized care in this realm. Great. You know, so then Marilyn's going to turn it over to me, and I'm going to discuss in detail what happens once you've been diagnosed with prostate cancer. What happens? So I've got prostate cancer. What does that mean? And how do you make the decision about what to do? It depends on how aggressive the cancer is, a variety of things in terms of how we evaluate it with, uh, again, the pathology, imaging. Some urologists will simply hand the patient a book, say, read this book, come back in two weeks and tell me what you want to do. We want to, we want to lay it out for you. I want to tell you what happens when you're diagnosed, how you make a decision, who you should see, and what kind of test you need to get done in order to make the right decision for you. And then following me, we're going to get expert advice and information from my colleague, Dr. Shemek Trudowski, who's a medical oncologist and a world's expert in advanced prostate cancer. Uh, Tim, uh, it's going to be a real pleasure to join you and Maron for this webinar September 28th. And as you know, my interest is treatment of patients with more advanced prostate cancer. So those are patients that perhaps were not diagnosed on time and they developed either relapsed or metastatic disease and need to be treated with drug therapy or radiation therapy. Um, and I will talk about, uh, number one, uh, some new um, genetic testing that we incorporate in management of prostate cancer. So we can now sequence the DNA of the tumor and adjust the choice of medications based on that. This is a very exciting area. Um, the second uh, aspect that I will uh, talk about uh, are some of the examples of new drugs that were approved in the last two years that we use now for prostate cancer and what's on the horizon. So what's going to happen in the next year, two, and perhaps five years in terms of new drug development some really very exciting new categories of drugs that we'll be utilizing in the treatment of this disease. And last but not least, I will also talk about new generation of imaging scans, uh, PET scans in particular, that allow us to much better localize the site of recurrence of prostate cancer that uh, uh, makes it much easier for us to guide radiation therapy, for example. And, and, and that really is transforming how we uh, manage and assess uh, mm -hmm. the uh, treatment for prostate cancer. Great. You know, I think we do want to stress is that prostate cancer is highly curable. It is, it is the most common cancer in men, but it's, and it's the second leading cause of cancer death in men, but it doesn't have to be. Diagnosed early, prostate cancer is highly curable, and the side effects of treatment can be minimal, again, diagnosed early. So please join us September 28th for our webinar entitled What Everyone Should Know About Prostate Cancer.